those up, you lovely, lovely, beautiful wheel friends. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Uh, this video we will be unboxing or unpackaging because it's not really in a box. A little gift on Christmas Eve. How good is that? I didn't think this was going to arrive in the post. Um, it's for, well, you probably know what it's for because it's in the description. Uh, it's for the veteran Sherman. It's a seat uh, that Brian sent over from Zoom Wheels in the UK. Uh, and I was going to leave it till after Christmas, but I thought I just thought I would pop, pop it into the Christmas tree and open it, or I thought I'd open it on camera. So I like doing, you know, sharing my first impressions. Um, and I'm really excited for this. I'm, uh, I've been using the Veteran Sherman seat that I got from E-Riders uh, and I did pop some Velcro on the top there which has helped out a lot and it's been great man, like I don't really use it that much uh, to be honest, I, don't, I haven't gone on that many long distance rides with the Sherman um, and I'm also I'm new to sit, seat riding, sitting riding anyway, let's get to this thing uh, Brian sent it over from Zoom Wheels for me to check out and a little knife out um, and yeah I wanted to do a little first impression it's just being careful not to uh, damage the seat itself um, he's nice enough to send this out to me what a guy yeah so let's have a look really well packaged so it's come all the way from the UK here to Australia all this bubble wrap um, yeah man, I'm really excited about this. I love, just love handmade stuff. Handmade stuff is just way better than this, uh, you know, manufactured stuff. It's just more, it's more organic. Is that the word organic? All right, so we've got a couple of clips. We've got one, two, three sets of extra clips there in the package. And, uh, oh. on here so I don't lose it. Yeah man, first impressions. This is this is quality. Uh, from someone who makes stuff, being a maker, um, this is great man. Really cool. Great. Great job. Like, uh, And I think it's, um, it's not leather, which is good. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, first impressions, there you go. First impressions, you've probably seen this before. Um, it's a bloody, that is a chunky seat. <laughs> That's good quality, really good quality. I'm happy with that. And I think they've used, yeah, they've definitely got so 18 mil uh, plywood in there, in there now. Um, yeah, it looks great and it looks really cool. I mean, it's a seat. Um, I don't know about too much, but I have uh, already prepped the Sherman with the electrical tape. I just ran some electrical tape over the front and back bar there, uh, which was instructed by Brian. So, um, yeah, so the back here, there's uh, some larger pieces of plywood on there because uh, what we're finding is, what they're finding is that you may need to adjust these clips to accommodate your Sherman um, whether you've crashed it or just through really the manufacturing uh, they may or may not be it's hard to get it exact you know he's basing it off his Sherman <coughs> so these could change um, so yeah they're there and they're just um, Phillips head screws they're pretty easy just to pop out and uh, put back in so it's just a group of three clips so let's give this a go Shall we? Give it a little, uh, little hit there. Oh, I missed it. Right. Oh no, we got it, we got it. And uh, line that up. And we're in. Oh yeah, look at that. You actually pick it up, Ruot. Look at that. That is wicked. And there's still enough room there to turn the wheel on and off. And that is, that's really clipped on there. Let's turn her on. 
Oh my. Okay, first, like, like I said, we'll take this for a little run. Okay, that is, that is comfy. Yeah, it doesn't move either. Really nice. That's the one thing I just don't like about, I don't want to compare the seats, but the veteran Sherman seat at the back, it's great that you can have your handle and it's great that you can see your display, but honestly, man, like, the more and more I use the Sherman, I'm at close to 700 kilometers now. I very rarely look at the display. The display was really good at the beginning. Um, and I find it's, it's really helped me judge and feel what speed I'm at now. Um, so from that perspective, it's really good. But honestly, once all my settings are in there, I don't really need to touch the display. And you've got your buttons here, you can turn the light on and off. Plenty of room. I guess the only question is, Oh. oh, there you go. Yeah, you can have that there, look. Um, so I reckon I could probably almost do a, do a job at moving them back ever so slightly. But let's have a look. We're just in the backyard here. Um, I'm not that good at riding seated. But as you can see, Oh wow, actually, uh, so I've got these big pads on here and it isn't impeding in my my riding ability. So you'll watch out for the big slack line. Um, oh, 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 straight away. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is epic. I certainly was not able to sit down ride like this before before this, honestly, I'd have to get up at some quite spot. And I'm bloody turning. This is amazing. Oh, so comfy. Impressive, impressive stuff. <sighs> like I'm comfortably riding my wheel, sitting down in my back bumpy backyard, uh, straight away off the bat. And I'll be honest with you, I've not done any sit down stuff. I actually found it. I have to, I'd have to get up to some speed um, and then plonk myself down on the seat. And even then, because of the seat I was using, I just, it just wasn't comfortable. It moved around a lot. There wasn't a lot of space for my backside. But uh, yeah, man, this is, uh, this is impressive. Let me see if I can set you up real quick on a little tree stump. Bear with me, people, bear with me. Mm, look at that lovely, beautiful sunshine. Hope we're, uh, oh no. So hopefully you've been recording that. <laughs> the audio, the little audio device I've been using just ran out of battery, so check this out. Check this out. Straight away. Amazing, unbelievable. Hey, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for that. I think he's right, man. I don't know if you'd even, uh, you, you probably wouldn't even take it off. And it looks good. That's the thing about my Sherman. I've gone for, you know, these stock pads um, just to keep it looking, looking good. Um, yes, I absolutely, first impressions, very happy, very ha oh, and to just hang out on your seat when you're waiting for the traffic lights. The amount of foam in there too. Great, really good job. Okay, so that is my first impressions. We'll uh, we'll take this out for a cheeky ride. I might take it out now actually. I'll charge it for the audio. Let's go for another quick spin. From seated. Now, honestly, I was not able to do this before. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. 
impressed with this. All right, guys, thank you so much. Brian at Zoom Wheels, thank you for sending this beautiful, beautiful handmade piece of kit out. Um, that's my first impressions. Uh, I wasn't actually gonna go for a ride, but I think I might go for a ride to really test this thing out. Yeah, it's, uh, and it looks good, man, doesn't it? It looks really good. Look how big it is. Very cool, very, very cool. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, not sure when I get this out, but hope you've had a lovely, wonderful Christmas. <laughs> a new year. Uh, stay tuned, we've got the Tassie Tasmanian Adventures series coming up, uh, and also more on zoom wheels veteran sherman epic seat until then guys have a lovely lovely christmas and i'll see you soon bye bye look at this thing <laughs>